This is Pico CTF 2025. Today we're going to solve another challenge in the binary exploitation category called hash only 2. Remember we've already solved hash only 1 in the same category. I've already started the instance so that we don't uh, have to wait around for that. Here is a binary that has enough privileges to read the contents of the flag file, but will only let you know its hash. If you only could give it the actual content. Connect using this command with the password and run the binary named flag hasher. Okay, so let's uh, let's connect and see what we have to work with. So heading over to the terminal, we are going to connect over here. Yes, we'd like to connect. Uh, let's let's copy the password. There we go. And flag hasher is the name we've been given, right? So if we run it straight away, it says computing the MD5 hash of root flag txt, and there's the hash. Yeah, we don't have permissions to read in the root folder, so there's that. Now, let's see where is this flag hasher. Let's run a strings against this. Let's pipe it against less. We don't have less. Okay, more. There we go. Standard stuff. Okay, there we go. Computing the MD5 hash of root flag txt bin dash MD5 sum. Okay, let's copy this bit over here. And let's put it over there. Okay, and if you remember in the previous hash only challenge, what we did was we created a symbolic link to MD5 sum from the cat command. So we did something like this bin cat MD5 sum, right? And that created a file called md5sum that's in fact pointing to cat and then we manipulated the path so that our current folder was the first one in the path thus ensuring that our binary here would be run and print the flag so let's try to do that here so current folder and then the previous path. Okay, so path is a read-only variable, so we can't use the same method. Obviously, it's a different challenge, right? So what can we do to trick it into running our binary? Well, think about this. How does Linux look from which folder to run a binary? It is traversing the path from left to right. So first, it's going to look in uh, USR local as bin. And then it's going to look in user local bin, user bin, and so on and so forth, right? And if we could place our MD5 sum in any of those folders, making sure it is before the legit MD5 sum, then we'd have a chance. So let's see where is the actual MD5 sum in the path. So USR bin, MD5 sum, user bin. Okay. So we have these folders to work with. Let's copy them here. And so it's either user local bin, user local s bin, or user s bin. If we are able to put our symbolic link in any of those three folders, then we would have solved the challenge. So let's see if we can Right in any of those folders. So you user local s bin. User local s bin is over here, and we are not root, so we can't write into this folder. Let's look at the next one. User local bin. User local bin is this one. And oh hey, look, it has write permissions for everyone. So all we have to do is move our MD5 sum to user local bin. 
And now we can run the hash command. And there is our flag. Copy the flag. Paste it in the challenge and submit it. And there you have it. So in this challenge, we weren't allowed to change the path variable directly, but because a folder had insecure permissions, we could still abuse the previous method and get the flag that way. If you've enjoyed this, make sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to get notified in the future whenever I post new solves, make sure to hit that subscribe button. In any case, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.